Megan Tui, who spent 18 months investigating this story for Reuters, joins us along with Kate. Now, Megan, good morning to you. The simplest question, why isn't this considered child trafficking? Well, if, uh, if in order for it to be considered child trafficking, the person who's taking the child has to pay for the child. And many times there's no money being changed hands in these transactions. Well, but, but Kate started her introduction by saying once you adopt a child from overseas, that child is just like your biological child. They're your child. Well, a biological parent can't take their kids to a truck stop and hand them off to strangers and drive away. Why are parents in this case allowed to do that? Well, actually, parents can do that with their biological children. But what's evident, if you examine the rehoming network, uh, is that that's not happening. Biolo parents aren't going on and offering their biological children. They're just going on and offering their adopted children. Which raises an interesting point, I think, Matt. I think some of these parents that we've talked to, and Megan's talked to many, they feel like it's not the same as having a biological child, which I know in the adoption community, no one wants to think that. Everyone wants it to be the exact same thing as when you have a biological child. It's remarkably easy to get rid of an unwanted child in the United States. All you need is a power of attorney, 400-word document that's notarized where you basically sign over your child to another adult and say that they're now in their custody. And so it's not filed anywhere. There's no court involvement, no judge. So I was going to say the key thing is that in many cases, Matt, nobody's watching over this. Nobody's monitoring those websites that Megan uncovered. Startling. Again, Megan, thank you very much. Kate, as always, thank you very much.